We are back here at the Meadowlands Brendan Byrne Arena for the first game of this doubleheader in the East Region second round between Arkansas 25 and 6 on the year and Virginia 18 and 11. And for the starting lineups of the game right now, let's go to the public address announcer, Dominic Elijah. for Virginia, a 6'8 junior from Princeton, West Virginia. Number four, Jim Miller. And starting it forward for Arkansas, a 6'6 junior from Newport, Arkansas. Number 24, Charles Ballantyne. The other forward for the Virginia Cavaliers. He is a senior from Alexandria, Virginia, and he stands 6'8". Number 30, Kenton Edelin. And starting at forward for Arkansas, a senior from South Bend, Indiana. He's 6'6", number 33, Leroy Sutton. The center for the Cavaliers, coming back home to New York City from the Bronx, a 6'11", freshman, number 24, Olden Polonese. He said one of the men to watch in this tournament, one of the best centers from Arkansas, 6'11 junior from Slater, Missouri, number 35, Joe Klein. The guards for Virginia, a six-foot senior from Woodbridge, Virginia, number 11, Othell Wilson. Arkansas will counter with a 6'2 senior from Okolona, Arkansas, number 14, Ricky Norton. Those are the two-point guards. Virginia, the other guard, a 6'5 senior from Ogdensburg, New York. Number 34, Rick Carlisle. And rounding out the starting lineups, the Razorbacks' other guard, and a good one, a 6'3 senior from Barberton, Ohio, number 21, Alvin Robertson. The head coaches, Terry Holland in his 15th season from Virginia, 15th season overall as a coach, and also in his 15th year on the left, Eddie Sutton of the University of Arkansas. So we're just about set for the opening for the inclined 35, jumping for Arkansas. Underway here at the Meadowlands, and it's controlled by Virginia. And as you mentioned, tight defense is what we're in store for. Absolutely. They deny great post defense. We'll take a look at it as the game progresses. And they're trapping Miller and getting free inside. Kenton Edelin puts Virginia up. Well, found the open man. Of course, Kenton Edelin, a walk-on. Found the place at home underneath the hole. A walk-on from intramural league, as a matter of fact. So Arkansas going on offense now. Norton, number 14, is the point guard. Good ball handling team. Smart. Looking for Klein in the middle. And hitting from the corner, tying the game is Valentine. To Charles Valentine, averaging seven and a half points a game. He's Mr. Outside. Leroy Sutton will see a good defensive player, Mr. Inside, as far as the forwards for Arkansas is concerned. Arkansas will pass the ball crisply. They may turn it around the corner 20 times before a shot, so be relaxed. Valentine almost made the steal, and Edelin recovered. Trapping defense. Carlisle penetrates. Rejected by Klein inside. He's a power there, and Jimmy Miller misses the shot. Klein the rebound, and here come the Razorbacks with the point guard, Ricky Norton, a senior from Oklahoma, Arkansas, a good ball handler, but the Razorbacks turn it over. Norton there saw Klein. Joe Klein turned his head on him. Always see the ball when you make your cut. So Norton is going to stick and be a blanket on Othell Wilson, who has assumed the leadership of this Virginia team with Ralph Sampson graduating. Needling up on high. Carlisle, good outside shooter. The freshman, Polonese. So Polonese scores for Virginia. Native of the Bronx, New York, actually from Haiti and moved to the United States when he was seven years old. Saw Joe Klein gamble in the front, but good help side by the guard. Second minute of play. 
seconds off, working patiently. Robertson, the good guard, number 21, Valentine. Hit another. When we were kids, a Valentine blast. He's an outstanding defensive player. Will fill it up when he has to. Second in steals on the team, so he's awfully quick. And as you mentioned at the outset, you may just see five, maybe no more than six play today for the Razorbacks. If they stay out of foul trouble, Eddie Sutton will stick with this group. Wilson, now picked up by Valentine on a switch, and the open man was Edelin. Here's Rick Carlisle outside. Slapped out of bounds. And it's the Razorbacks take over. 17 and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's a 4-4 ball game. The winner goes to Atlanta in the Eastern Regional Semifinals Thursday night. When you see Alvin Robertson take his first shot, it's really not a jump shot. It's a jump push shot. Peculiar release, but effective. He's number 21. He has the ball. Sutton gets it in the middle, losing the ball. Odell Wilson knocked out of bounds, and Virginia takes over. Good hustle. And by the Cavaliers. A break, Dick. You'll see a lot of posting up by Alvin Robertson in their zone set. It's somewhat of an illusion. They'll start him at guard, but he busts to the foul line or the low post, and then they play high-low with Joe Klein. It's Virginia ball after there was some discussion there as to who had hit the ball last, and now Robertson apparently is going to inbound the ball, and Sutton will, so uh, I think... This is a correct call. It looked to be off of Othell Wilson. Yes, Dick. What they did is they got together. They had the right call, pointed the wrong direction. And that happens. <laughs> Robertson has Edelin on him, and Edelin has a good height advantage in Virginia's own. Arkansas may rely on perimeter shooting today if they can't get the ball inside to Klein. So far, they have it on offense. Klein's been there on defense. Robertson loses the ball. And this time, it is still Arkansas ball. That was a break. I thought uh, Pelé, Joe Klein, had kicked that out. Eddie Sutton, a legend at Fayetteville, Arkansas, one of the top coaches in the country with the famed Boutonier. A florist in Fayetteville gives them one each ball game. They had to fly this one up this morning. Norton misses the shot. And Carlisle, the loose ball. Look for patience on both sides in this game. Virginia started with a 1-4 set, four across the foul line. A different look right now. Wilson picked up by Ballantyne. On the man-to-man, -man, that's what Arkansas plays, and they turn it over to the Razorback. Othell Wilson in too deep on the end line. Without Ralph Sampson, obviously, the Virginia Cavaliers on defense don't have the big eraser behind them. No, Old, uh, Olden Polonese trying and effective and had an outstanding finish of his year. Doesn't want anybody to think he's Samson. Carlisle is guarding Valentine. Wilson is on Norton. And they now shuffle out of the zone. But that's the matchup. 16 minutes, 10 seconds to go first half. We're tied at four. Virginia is playing a very good defense. And Robertson hits the shot. So Alvin Robertson, who's the second leading scorer at 15 and a half points a game. Robertson. Puts the Razorbacks in front. They couldn't get the ball inside. Robertson moved out where he can be effective also. Good jamming defense by Virginia. Carlisle and Arkansas is so quick defensively. Carlisle was open top of the key and they picked him up in a, in a second. Great recovery powers. Carlisle harassed by Robertson now. All over. Now you see why the Razorbacks such a very tough defense. Klein and Polonese are banging in the middle. Well, post defense is hard work. And Joe Klein slapped out of bounds there. Joe Klein moves his legs and gets in front. Makes it tough for Polonese to get the low post pass. The Razorbacks were 14 and 2, second in the Southwest Conference to Houston in the regular season, and second to Houston in the conference tournament as well. Jimmy Miller looking inside. He finds Carlisle. Carlisle fakes and gets the layup. So Rick Carlisle who was a transfer from Maine last year and the oldest Cavalier at age 24, ties it up again and nearly five minutes gone by in the first so, half. Just a great back screen free in Carlisle. Virginia had to play the running game against Northeastern in their first round matchup Friday, even though the score didn't indicate that. Northeastern liked to run a lot. Valentine misses the shot and Carlisle gets another rebound. Wilson pushing it up for Virginia. He can penetrate. Oh. And knocked away by Norton. Great hands down there. Quick. Rookie Norton. 
So we have a timeout. 14. Peeling back defensively, taking away that cheaping. What kind of a thing could open up this game? Well, I think the defense creating turnovers on the Arkansas end, and of course, if Arkansas fails to make that outside shot, the 1 2 2 can be effective for Virginia. Virginia offensively, of course, their best outside shooter is Carlisle, and he's been very active, especially off the board so far. They get it into Polonese. Norton on Wilson. So far, Wilson hasn't scored for Virginia, and Joe Klein hasn't scored for Arkansas. Here's a pass inside intended for Wilson, and it was much short, and so Arkansas picked it up on an easy turnover for them. Not a good look there. <laughs> Tough to throw an alley-oop to your 5'10 guard. They're trying to get it to the redhead, who now is coming up to high post. He's not getting anything inside. He can make that shot also, Dick. Norton controlling outside. He's a senior, and Eddie Sutton likes to have those experienced players in there. Missing outside is Robertson, and Klein follows up with his first points of the ball game. Joe Klein averaging over 18 points a game and nearly 60% from the field. I believe he tipped that to himself. Knew he couldn't control it, went after it. He's a big bruiser inside, and one of the key matchups we'll be watching will be Klein and Polonese, the center. Experience against youth, and traveling called against Jimmy Miller, turns it over to the Razorback. Well, that active defense will make you do some things you're not used to. Eddie Sutton, an advocate of poor pressure man-to-man. -man. The three Ds, defense, discipline, and dedication, and he sticks to that. He sounds a lot like Hank Ivor, doesn't he? Years ago, I heard him at a clinic. Of course, he played for him, and very similar philosophies. on top against the zone, tipped by Othell Wilson and picked off by Miller. So a good defensive play by Othell Wilson, who leads the team in steals. And wide open in the corner is Rick Carlisle, and we have another tie. 13-15 to go in the first half, and we have our fourth tie of the ball game. And he missed that last open shot. He has to light it up for Virginia. This is the kind of pace we can expect throughout this game. Good guards, Bill mentioned the symbol of Eddie Sutton team, and guards that can do just that. Sidney Moncrief, Darrell Walker, you can name several of them, and now Robertson penetrating inside. Robertson. Out of bounds, and it's going to be Arkansas ball. Wilson with that shot on the run, one of the few times they've been able to get a free shot. I really believe Eddie Sutton recruits by legs. Moncrief. <laughs> you were saying and watching in practice about the guards and how, how big the legs are on these guys. Long-legged, able to go into traffic and hang near the glass. Twelve and a half minutes to go first half. Arkansas is seated second. And the Virginia Cavaliers seated seventh in the East region. Now, Ricky Norton can hit that top of, key, top of the key jump shot. Norton has not been a shooter so far, but he's been controlling the offense for the Razorbacks and directing traffic. They are jamming it up to take Klein out of the game. Robertson gets it into Sutton, and Sutton misses the shot. It's stuffed through by Robertson. Alvin Robertson. <laughs> uh, Alvin Robertson. Uh, exciting. I really believe they're small forwards. They call them guards, but gee, to what they can do. Robertson's called for the foul on Rick Carlisle, and that is the first foul of the ball game. And so we have played nearly half of the first 20 minutes, and this is the very first foul. It's on Robertson, first team foul naturally. And that speaks well for Arkansas. They can't afford foul trouble, but he, Robertson, will get that cheap knick-knack foul. He has to be careful. And we're going to have our first substitution at the next dead ball. Miller, and Robertson makes the steal. Miller inbound. And they're going to call a foul on Othell Wilson of Virginia. So there is Alvin Robertson again. And coming into the ball game is Tom Sheehy, a freshman from Rochester, New York, who was heavily recruited and started the first 18 games of the year for the Cavaliers. And going out of the ball game is Jimmy Miller, and the foul was on Miller of Virginia. So the team fouls are all even now. And with Arkansas having the ball, they have a four-point lead with 11.40 to go in the first half. 
Valentine. He is the Mr. Outside, so Sutton's Mr. Inside in the forward tandem for the Razorbacks. But a good shifting zone by the Virginia Cavaliers. 1-2-2, two, two. top man going down, almost becoming a 3-2 or a 2-3. Well, to eight the score, Arkansas leading. Inside the climb, and Edelin blocks him. Kevin Edelin on the block. And here comes Virginia. And Carlisle is open to hit it again. Well, you need those turnovers. Great anticipation by Edelin. Setting up that open jump shot by Carlisle. So they're going to be depending, as you mentioned, on Rick Carlisle's outside shooting because neither center has figured offensively inside so far. Joe Curry finally got free. Everybody's swarming around him. Klein gets free again inside, and it's torn away by Kent Needlin, who has made two big plays now in succession. Wilson penetrating. And Othell Wilson backs it in, and Virginia has come back to tie the game. Othell Wilson with his first basket of the ball game. He likes to get into the middle of things. Pump and deliver. And the Virginia fans trying to see whether the Cavaliers, without Ralph Sampson, can advance in this championship. They've already won one game. Robertson misses Edel in the rebound. And here's Carlisle, who leads with six points for the Cavaliers. Going for his eight. Battle inside. Klein locked away. And there is an easy basket for Sheehy. So Tom Sheehy was alert and got the easy basket, and the Cavaliers now have scored six straight points to take the lead. Just a careless play there. Sheehy's a good jump shooter, an effective offensive weapon, the beneficiary of some poor play. Nine and a half minutes remaining, first half. Virginia trying for an upset. Foul is on Othell Wilson, and coming into the ball game is the other guard who sees a lot of action for Virginia, Ricky Stokes. We'll tell you more about him when we come back to the Vern Meadowlands. So he will get the ball. It's what he does with it because everybody's on him when he receives the ball. Robertson leads the Razorbacks with six. Carlisle is the high scorer for the Cavaliers, also with six points. Showing for Arkansas was back in 1978 when they reached the Final Four before losing to Kentucky in the semifinals. And they have visions of advancing again. Possible rematch with North Carolina, but that's down the road a bit. Here's Norton firing from outside. We're inside Sutton trying to get the offensive rebound, and now they're going to call it interference, offensive interference against the Razorback. And that's out from half court, too. So Eddie Sutton up, questioning that call. Of course, the soft touch by Norton hanging there may have had a chance to go in. And yes, a good call. Leroy Sutton, who shoots a high percentage because those are the type of shots he ends up with. And he doesn't shoot all that much. If he did and had the minimum number of uh, shots, he probably would lead the country in field goal percentage. Sutton would have him out of the game if he took a lot of shots. <laughs> Kick ball there. 8.48 remaining. And it'll be Sheehy, the highly recruited freshman who has made an impact on this Virginia program. So Sheehy and Polonis picking up Ricky Stokes, as we said, in the ball game. The last time out we had. He replaced Carlisle, giving the veteran a, a breather. And on the turnover, Arkansas again. That was picked up by Leroy Sutton. So Virginia cannot afford to turn the ball over too many times. And that can't be overstated. Uh, Danny Murrayfield with the cut. Unable to convert. Merrifield, number 51, a physical player and a junior. In there now. Norton, top of the key. And there's a smooth shot by Ricky Norton, averaging eight and a half points a game. His shooting has gone from 39 to 53 percent. So he has come on as the season come on. And of course, they were complaining about his weight. Chunky. He's got that chunky look. But a good deep shooter and a foul now by the same. Norton commits the foul, and that will only be the second team foul against Arkansas, first against Norton. Ricky Norton called by Eddie Sutton yesterday. He's a great pressure player. He took him a while to mature. You talked about the weight situation, but uh, he now is someone you can count on. I was saying to Joe Klein yesterday, they, have a, they had a meal last night. They give Joe a separate check, have him eat <laughs> elsewhere. 
Understandable. And a likable guy at that. It'll be a foul against Arkansas as Ricky Stokes trying to penetrate inside. And the foul is against Norton, his second personal foul. They can't afford those type of fouls. Two on Norton. He's the only Arkansas player with two. Sheehy inbounding, finds Polonies, who so far has not really gotten into the flow of it. And I think it's a good D by Joe Klein. Pivots well, crossed in front of the man aggressively. 7.35 remaining in the first half. It's been close throughout, as you would expect with the style used by both clubs. We're tied at 14. Wilson against Robertson, giving up some inches. But banging away, and we have another foul on the Razorbacks. It'll be their fourth team foul, and the personal is on Robertson, his second. So both starting guards have two personals for the Razorbacks. Very quick hands. They space well. The reach in, the flick. And now as Othell Wilson gets into the scoring area, the bump. But they are aggressive on that defensive end. They are, and it's paid off for them. And you always have to admire teams that play man-to-man -man defense. Many years ago, teams that didn't play man-to-man -man wouldn't win an NCAA title. And there's a turnover, and so there's the benefit of quickness and intensity. And so the Razorbacks have the ball again, and a chance to take the lead. I got a kick at Charles Ballantyne holding it up. Robertson tried a difficult shot, and Sutton draws the foul inside. The foul is on Sheehy, but Robertson tried to penetrate, and Leroy Sutton, an underrated player who quietly goes about his job, will go to the line to shoot two. Well, this was set up by Ballantyne's patience. Well drilled, they held the ball, the kick baseline, and again, Robertson in traffic, able to jump over Tom Shee. Excuse me, Leroy Sutton. So Sutton is on the line shooting the first shot. He was written off by many after he suffered an ankle injury two years ago, but he has come on, averaging eight and a half points a game, and as you mentioned, a terrific shooter from outside, but not from the line, where he's at 42%. Atrocious. Eddie Sutton brought it up yesterday. He said he's going to shoot well tomorrow, right, Leroy? Arkansas with the lead, and the pressure now on uh, Othell Wilson in the backcourt. Merrifield gets it across, and she heaves. Didn't have control and loses it out of bounds. Arkansas ball, and that was a Virginia golden opportunity to score. They couldn't, and they turn it over for the seventh time. A break for Arkansas. Tom she was ready to send this one down. Took his eye off the dribble. Lost control. Almost ended up being a good pass to Ricky Stokes. Not that Virginia doesn't have a share of experienced players, although Sheehy is a freshman, but Arkansas always has the veterans. They have three seniors and two juniors in the starting lineup, and they have not substituted yet. Six and a half minutes to go. Stolen by Ricky Stokes, but he lost it out of bounds. Well, he and Wilson are great going down and digging the ball out from the postman. You talk about the five men used by Arkansas. Well, Virginia's going to try and take advantage of the depth situation. Kennedy Edelin, Rick Carlisle, and Jimmy Miller all come back in the ball game. So no secret, Terry Holland's going to try and outnumber. And, of course, on the bench, Timmy Mullen, who was a starter for three years. So he's got a lot of people. Yesterday, Holland didn't think there was going to be a factor because he said Arkansas gets stronger as the game goes on. But he's going to try, that's for sure. Valentine passes up the shot. 6-10 remaining first half. One-point lead for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Norton clear outside. And coming down with it is Olden Polonies to the rebound. Ricky Stokes to Carlisle. Smart player, that Carlisle. Well, also the good defense made him fan dribble. Polonies over Klein, and it drops for him. So Olden Polonies, a freshman in a big pressure game. Local boy with a local bounce. Virginia regains the lead, 16 to 15. The biggest lead was two. Arkansas's biggest lead was four. Robertson hemmed in on the baseline. Razorbacks are really patient. They pass up some open shots to get better shots. Norton, he's about the only one that isn't patient. Carlisle gets another rebound. His third of the ball game, and the Cavaliers lead by one with 5.20 to go in the half. They're all over Carlisle in the backcourt. He doesn't have the quickness of Robertson. Holiday out high. Try to win a game in what would be an upset over the second seeded team in the East. 
Well, Virginia doesn't think it's an upset, though. They feel they got a good club, good cut inside screen. Miller got free inside. They worked the play. And Terry Holland, who, by the way, was a winner long before Ralph Sampson came to Charlottesville, Virginia. And that cannot be forgotten so easily. Terry Holland, a solid coach in his 10th year. And Virginia with his biggest lead of the ball game with 440 remaining in the first half. Dick Stockton, Bill Raftery here in East Rutherford. Eddie Sutton doesn't think he's a good outside shooting team, so he wouldn't finish in the top 100 if they played a game of horse. Robertson penetrating and Polonese the rebound. So now holding Polonese, the freshman making his presence felt a lot more. Carlisle pulls up. And Rick Carlisle has given the Cavaliers a 20 to 50 lead over Arkansas. And Virginia is on a 12 to 3 run now to take the lead. Opportunity breaks. And a timeout called for by Arkansas. So a whole barrel of action coming your way in the NCAA championship. And what's great about the tournament is that it builds and it really has started to build. Now. A junkie's delight, huh? Sit in front of that TV. Little change of defense by Virginia. Trapping out deep. And the Razorbacks trailing by five. This is the biggest lead for either club right now. He's still going with the same five that started the game. Robertson inside to Sutton. Sutton hemmed in and... They're going to call Polonies with a foul, but Polonies was all over him on the baseline. Reached down. He kept his hands up. Arkansas again showing poise, able to handle the trap, get it into the thick of it. Nice baseline pass. Fourth team foul against Virginia, and for Polonies, his first foul. So on the line is Sutton, once again, who is under 50% as a free throw shooter for the Razorback. Get your hands up when he's on the foul line. Three forty-six remaining in the first half. North Carolina and Indiana have already advanced to the NCAA regionals in Atlanta in the East. They will play each other Thursday. The winner of this game will play the winner of Syracuse VCU in the other matchup. Full court now. Once again, Arkansas. They're trapping Carlisle and Miller trying to break the trap. The three forty to go. Virginia by three, and they do. Even on that set, Robertson was the foreman. Inside, good passing, and Polonies misses the shot, gets his rebound, blocked again, blocked again, and now they're going to call a foul, I believe, on Arkansas. Now they say it's on the ball. Joe Klein down underneath getting involved. There's a couple of deflections here. Again, Virginia able to handle the press. Joe Klein, the latter part of this sequence, sticks his hand in. Polonies may be uptight, and maybe that's been a factor with him. He's a freshman, and Klein is a junior, transferred from Notre Dame, Klein's first personal, and here's Polonies. Holden Polonies from the Bronx. He had 10 rebounds against Iona. He only began to play basketball when he was a freshman in high school. And believe it or not, I spoke at a camp when he was a freshman in high school. Maybe that's why he missed that layup. I taught him inside moves. 21 to 17, the Cavaliers lead. Without the benefit of Bill Raftery's coaching, he's got Terry Holland. He's done a good job with him. Somebody else must have <laughs> taken over. 3.16 to go. Razorbacks remain patient. They have not forced too many shots in this game. Norton, of course, likes to hit from deep. Other than that, they've worked it inside if they could, or the short jump. Klein knocked away by Kent Needle in a fine defensive play and a steal. Watch Robertson. That's outstanding defensive ability. Quick hands and the center in dunk. <laughs> Robertson is something to behold, but if you've been down at Fayetteville and you've seen Arkansas basketball, nothing new. And we will have traveling called against Kent Needle in Virginia, turning it over with 2.43 to go and a chance for Arkansas to tie the game. And pressure defense, the deny on the left hand there created the turnover. And the pass to Klein that set up that sequence before was beautiful by Alvin Robertson. Alvin Robertson, who has eight points and four steals so far in the game. And Arkansas living off of their defense right now with less than two and a half to go first half. 21-19 Virginia. Inside five. He's got it. Boy, is that patience. Joe Klein keeps working because he knows somebody, most times, Alvin Robertson will find him. So we have our sixth tie of this first half. Winding down to two minutes to go in the first half. 
Virginia had a five-point lead, and Arkansas, with their defense, has come back to tie it up. Carlisle with Robertson all over it. Steal by Robertson and a foul against Virginia. Gee, what a breakdown for Arkansas. Again, Alvin Robertson in the middle of it. What anticipation, Dick. Terry Holland, who doesn't really get excited on the Cavaliers bench, is not happy with that one. Many other coaches would be stomping up and down the sideline. Jim Miller commits the foul, his second. That's the 10th turnover by Virginia. Arkansas has turned it over just five times. Great decorum on the sideline by Terry. And there's Robertson. Norton comes out. So Virginia misses an opportunity. Still tied up. They're backing off Sutton. They're giving him that jump shot in the corner, and it makes it tougher to get it into Klein. Coming back in the game for Virginia is Dan Merrifield, number 51. He's a junior from Linwood, New Jersey at 6'6". Strong, tough defender. So Merrifield is in the game, and Miller goes out. So the Cavaliers, who have been the only team to substitute so far, have Merrifield, Kenton Edelin, Olden Polonese, along with Carlisle and Othell Wilson to go. Kennedy Sutton says, look, it's a 40-minute ball game. You players play 40 minutes. By the way, Klein has two personal fouls. So Klein, Robertson, and Norton, all with two fouls here, with a minute 20 to go in the first half. Othell Wilson. He's had to work a lot harder for his points with Ralph Sampson graduated. Another turnover, and that's number 11. And the Razorbacks should try to break the tie again. Robertson in the middle. Three hits. Talk about Sidney Moncrief and Darrell Walker, and of course, Brewer and Delta and some of the other great players that Eddie Sutton has had in his 10 years. Under a minute to play, 50 seconds now. And a 21-21 tie. You know, in the midst of the great defense of Arkansas, Kenton Edelin has done a mammoth job individually on defense for Virginia. Well, he's got the ability not to come out on Sutton. That keeps him in the thick of things to jam it up. So if Sutton or somebody else could sneak into the right corner, it might help Arkansas. Norton outside Carlisle sloughing off and they seem to be the number one priority is stop Joe Klein inside and they have to the point where Klein has four points two personal fouls 35 seconds to go in the first half off Sutton's hands sensational look and now they're going to play for the last shot Eddie Sutton comes off the bench and signals play for the last shot to try to break the tie at 21 They'd like to go to Klein, you know it. They may have to settle for the deep one, though. No. Virginia's aware of that. And now they go into the play with nine seconds to go and eight seconds. Norton, the point guard. Over to Valentine. Valentine loses it out of bounds. And with two seconds to go, Virginia will have a last-ditch chance. And Eddie Sutton walks away, head down, as the Razorbacks' chance to take the lead goes by the board. The clock starts now. Othell Wilson's last shot is off the mark, and that is the end of the first half. Arkansas saw 42% from the field in the first half. Virginia turned the ball over three more times than the Razorbacks. And the key performers happen to be two guards, but not Wilson and Robertson, but Rick Carlisle and Alvin Robertson. Right now, a pitcher's duel. Norton, still the point guard number 14, the same five that's played all the way for the Razorbacks. Second seeded, they were ranked seventh and eighth throughout the year. Inside to Klein, that's what they want to do, but another turnover, and Wilson cops it away. But once again, it was Colin and Needle and inside, and Othell Wilson penetrating, and Virginia getting the first points of the second half, taking the lead. Again, inside, that's only the fifth shot. Two for five now, Othell Wilson against the Virginia zone, and an effective zone it was in the first half. Robertson, number 21, Norton, 14, Leroy Sutton, 33, Valentine is 24. You can find Klein in the middle, he's number 35. Of course, Arkansas has been having trouble finding Klein. Edelin commits the foul, is first. What happens when you have a big man, and I was never blessed with one, but just watching over the years, you force it into him. You commit turnovers trying to get it to him. If you could nail some open jump shots, and I think you have to attack on Edlin's side because he seems to be staying at home to front Klein. Sutton through his hands, turnover. Virginia trying to capitalize, trying to move it up and quicken the pace. Carlisle. 
open is Miller. And Jimmy Miller, who has been hampered with the flu late in the year, a starter for all but three games after being one of the top six men in the nation a year ago. And now it is a 25-21 lead for the Cavaliers. Their biggest lead was five. Carlisle set that up with a delay. Jimmy Miller pumping it down the floor, nailing that jump shot. Here's Valentine. Klein gets the position for the offensive rebound, but misses inside, and Robertson is fouled. So there's an example of Arkansas. Strength with Klein and quickness with Robertson. But Klein trying to do some things, finally gets position for a rebound. Can't convert, but that man, you've called his name the first half, always around the glass. Because in this case, they peel off a forward to protect the backcourt. That's why you can't run even though Robertson's inside. Third personal foul for Jim Miller. So Robertson on the line. Miller commits his third, and he'll go out of the game, and Dan Merrifield replaces him. So, so Robertson will try to bring Arkansas to within two points. 25 to 23. Robertson has figured in 18 of Arkansas's 23 points. And pressure by the Razorbacks. Edelin looking for help. Got a handle of press. 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Wilson, good feed. Alanis loses it inside. Knocked away nicely by Alvin Robertson. Another terrific defensive play by the guard. <laughs> Even avoiding the charge there with Wilson. Great body control. They call him a mean player, but they say in a complimentary way. He's mean with intensity on defense. He's a man-to-man. Arkansas trying to tie the game up. We have had seven ties so far. Norton is open, and he'll take the shot, and he'll tie it up. So Norton now with his second basket of the ball game. It's a 25-25 game, so every time Virginia moves ahead, be it five or four points, the Razorbacks are not far behind. Right now, I'd say Arkansas has to get the lead to get them out to play. They haven't switched defenses once. Virginia. Coming around the screen, Carlisle, but Robertson is with him step for step. Edelin looking inside, nothing doing. Nearly three minutes gone by in the second half. Knocked away by Robertson, another steal by Alvin Robertson. That's preparation, too. They know how to fight over the top of a screen. Scout for His seventh steal of the ball game. And he's been a factor, as we said, offensively and, as you can see, on defense as well. Razorbacks trying to take the lead. Carlisle on the top of Norton. This is the first time these teams have ever played. And Leroy Sutton, the left-hander, misses from the corner, and here's Wilson trying to go against Norton, penetrating in, and he gets the basket. Othell Wilson now with six points, and more and more becoming a big factor in the second half. Well, Arkansas ended up with a good shot. I'm not sure they wanted Sutton to get in that corner, but Othell Wilson does some incredible things on the move. You know, Bill, we've been talking about the Razorbacks forcing a lot of turnovers, but particularly Robertson, but Virginia's defense all around has been superb. Anything loose, they've been on top of. Cavaliers by two. Four minutes gone by, second half. Winner advances to Atlanta, the Eastern Regional Semifinals next Thursday. Here's Norton, and Norton hits outside. So Ricky Norton hits another one outside. There's the story with the steals. Robertson has more than the Virginia team, but that can be deceptive because the Cavaliers have played a tight defense. Eddie Sutton just pointed at that corner where Sutton took the jump shot. He's got Darryl Bedford up, who's known for his outside shooting. Sutton comes down with the rebound on the missed shot by Othell Wilson. And now the Razorbacks will try to take a lead here. 15-20 remaining in the second half. We're tied at 27. And Joe Klein with a 10-footer puts the Razorbacks in front. And Joe Klein having to go outside to get the basket. He has six points. Don't forget, he is averaging over 18 for the year. He rolled the lane well. Got a little higher, Dick, to make sure he had a passing lane. Sutton is on Merrifield, like Merrifield's a 20-point scorer, isn't he? They better be, the way Eddie Sutton coaches them. Klein comes out to meet Polonese. Trying to get free. 
Wilson double team. Carlisle. Drops for Rick Carlisle. Ten points. So Carlisle with ten and Alvin Robertson with ten. The game high scores and we have our ninth tie of the ball game. Carlisle knowing where his man was also. Dipping under to get the shot off. by the Virginia defense, but there is Ballantyne. Charles Ballantyne, who's made a living on baseline jumpers and has developed into a solid player, typical role player for Eddie Sutton. And the Razorbacks are up 31-29, to 29, under 14 minutes to go. We're in the second half. All they have to do is reverse it to that right corner. They're going to get an easy shot. It has been a chess game since the opening minute, Bill. Neither club able to get anything going in the running area other than Othell Wilson. Carlisle blocked from behind. Colony's trying to stay with Robertson and puts on a series of moves. Klein with the follow-up no basket as Alvin Robertson was fouled by Polonies, who showed a little bit of his open court abilities on that foray. <laughs> He's saying, stop this zone nonsense. Let me play. One three. Length of the floor. And again, the ability three. defensively to come up with steals. Great at helping, setting this up for himself. And now with the dribble move, tries to get to the right to go by Polonies. The reverse, no goal, but the foul. Second personal foul on Olden Polonese and Alvin Robertson, who is second team All-American on some polls, hits the first free throw. Here's Ricky Stokes coming back into the ball game, replacing Carlisle. So Ricky Stokes, the senior from Richmond at 5'10", and they bring him in to really get things started, a quick pesky guard. Well, both of them are known for their tenacious defense, he and Wilson. Chris Carlisle may be resting him for later. Robertson makes one out of two, but taking the rebound is the sixth man, of course. Darrell Bedford, who you mentioned, the sophomore from Smyrna, Georgia, number 54. He replaced Sutton in the lineup for Arkansas. And there's Charles Valentine. Robertson goes high for the rebound. And traveling called against the guard. Well, Robertson yeah. doesn't agree with it. They're saying he caught it and went to the ground. Tough call against him, but good, good rebound. 13 minutes, 11 seconds to go in the second half. Arkansas leads by two. Against Iona, Virginia did not want to run, but they seem to want to get the ball out a lot more naturally against Arkansas in this one, and that's why the fast break points indicated what you just saw up there. Seven minutes gone by, second half. Jimmy Miller playing with three personal fouls. Active hands. Miller gets free inside, goes up without the ball, and he is fouled. That will be the first team foul against Arkansas, and the personal foul. The trap in the corner, down to Jimmy Miller. Ballantyne comes over to help out Joe Klein. In the back, Ballantyne with the grab. But again, you can see the hands waving. It's tough to find an open man. His first foul, Eddie Sutton. Uh, the reputation of bringing the freshmen and sophomores along slowly. Fayetteville with Miller. Jim Miller. This is the free throw, and so Virginia is not going to get a chance to tie it up this time around. Cavaliers, as we said, 18 and 11, but they had a very tough schedule. Nine of their 11 losses were teams that were seeded in this championship. 31-30. Great comeback here for them, too. Everybody expecting nothing, and I think these players have a lot of pride hung in there and gave Virginia a great year. Everyone tends to forget about a, a team like Virginia when Ralph Sampson goes. They look elsewhere. He did finish fifth in the ACC, but here they are, and they're challenging Arkansas. Razorbacks by a point. Here's Ricky Norton with a smooth jump shot. So Ricky Norton, who comes from Okalona, Arkansas, and it's a population of 333, and you know all of them are watching if they're not here <laughs> at the Meadowland. Have you been there? <laughs> no, I haven't. Arkansas by three now. And we have 12 minutes to go in the second half. Ricky Stokes penetrating and a foul on Virginia on Ricky Stokes. So that will be team foul number four 
And Stokes committing the foul and taking it out of bounds will be the Razorback. As happened often, he forced the shot, tries to compensate by a startling rebound and over the top. Razorbacks under Eddie Sutton have averaged nearly 24 victories a year in his 10 seasons at Arkansas, which in many ways says it all. A three-point lead. Chance to open up their widest lead of the ball game if they can get a basket here. Robertson trapped. Almost tied up and a steal by Othell Wilson. Good defense by Virginia. Ricky Stokes penetrating and comes back with a basket. And it's a one-point game again. What you can do with the dribble. Wilson again giving it up at the correct time. Stokes doing his magic. And when you don't want to talk about magic, Jimmy Miller is the accomplished magician on that club. Alvin Robertson. That's the side there. They stuck him down in the corner. That time on the wing. So Alvin Robertson has 12 points. He's averaged over 15 this season. And now they're going to call a foul on Darrell Bedford. And coming back in the game is Leroy Sutton for Arkansas. Bedford goes out. And so Sutton, who started the game at forward, is back. Eddie Sutton said, I put you in to shoot the ball. You didn't even look at the basket, Darrell. Good defense by Virginia. They've been doing it all day. Ball hawking, and of course, Stokes and Wilson known for this, and of all people being stripped, Alvin Robertson, and that started that nice dribble move by Ricky Stokes. Ricky Stokes controlling outside. He's in the backcourt with Othell Wilson, Edelin, Polonese, and Jimmy Miller, the forwards. Wilson trying to get in the middle there. Nearly a steal by Sutton, playing the pass. Jimmy Miller with a baseline jumper. Jimmy Miller, third leading scorer at 10 points a game. And Terry Holland's club now trailing Arkansas 35 to 34. Arkansas denies and gambles on the dribble too because they know they'll receive help in the back. And that's, you know, without the dominant big man. It's with Klein, but he's not, you know, the dominant man. He's not the shot blocker that uh, Elijah Wan and Ewing are, but a big force. Klein loses the ball inside, gets it back for an easy bucket. So Virginia was coming out of the pack with a break, and they're going to break off the made basket. Alley is to Edelin. I tell you, Bill, Virginia did not waste much time when Klein got the hoop at the other end. Well, that's unusual, and Eddie Sutton upset with his club because you've got to see who's behind you. And Arkansas's lead is cut to one point again. Arkansas leading and quick action at both ends of the court right before the timeout, Bill. Well, early in the game, Joe Klein, we mentioned Pelé fumbling the ball, not coming up with it here. It looks like a Virginia ball. Again, the hands down there. Roberts are keeping it alive. And now the heads aren't facing the basketball as they run down. And this is what happens. Stokes timed it, saw Kent Needland out of the corner of his eye, send it in. Kent Needland. So Virginia trailing by a point. They've been hanging close to Arkansas or leading most of the way in this game. Their biggest lead was five. Arkansas had a four-point lead. And on the fast break, Virginia, it's been their day to the tune of 16 to 2. We have under 10 minutes to go in the second half. Arkansas by a point. They have the ball. Norton working against Stokes. And a man-to-man. -man. Off the timeout. And they're going to call the Virginia foul on Olden Polonies, and that will be the second first, pers third personal foul on the freshman center. Terry Holland's been using the TV timeouts to change. He did that trap in the first half, this time coming back out man to man. Well, what you said at the very top of our broadcast is that one of the things Virginia's going to have to do is really change up on their defenses, and that's an exa example of that. Of course, Arkansas behind, they didn't have to change. Norton from the corner. Ricky Norton. Ricky Norton. Ricky Norton now with 10 points in the ball game. And so Norton, perfect from the field, four for four this half. Mike Ratliff is in the ball game now. Mike Ratliff, number 30 for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Othell Wilson misses and climbs the rebound. And so Eddie Sutton going more to his bench, bringing in a freshman from Brooklyn, New York. Mike Ratliff at guard. And of course, he was a former high school center, not very well recruited. They redshirted him, and they think they've got a prospect. Great leaper also. 
Fort Hamilton High School in Brooklyn, the same school that produced the King brothers, Albert and Bernard. Not bad ability. Under nine minutes to go, Alvin Robertson with a smooth jump shot, and Arkansas has their biggest lead of the ball game now, 41 to 36, a five-point lead, 8:45 to go, and now this is becoming an important time for the Cavaliers. They can't let this game get out of hand, and a five-point lead, the way this game is going and the pattern is taking, is a big lead. Miller, big one. They need some points. You're absolutely right. They can't let Arkansas get away from them because then it eliminates the changes of the defense they got to go out and pressure and of course this backcourt's pretty tough miller has nine points three guards in there for arkansas and we have a virginia foul on othell wilson that'll be the sixth team foul against the cavaliers now they change it to ricky stokes it is ricky stokes second foul sixth team foul so the next foul will put him into the penalty. Charles Valentine is back into the ball game, who started it forward. So now the same five who started the game for Eddie Sutton out on the floor now. Well, we mentioned Radliff's quick. He's quick to the bench. <laughs> Didn't get much airtime. Winding down to eight minutes to go in the second half. Klein. Nearly lost it. And then what they're doing is, as you mentioned, double teaming Klein with the guard down low. Terrific hands. And of course, Klein can't see down that low. Having his problems with the guards. Klein has done very well against Elijah Wan in his three meetings against the Houston Center. And they may call Polonese for a foul. Let's see if it is. It'll be number four. And it is against Olden Polonese. So the freshman center from Haiti by way of the Bronx, New York, has four personal fouls. And now they're going to bring Rick Carlisle back in the ball game. And... They may move Edelin into a center position. It's or Stokes. One now. Or Stokes. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> They're playing very small well, now. They like their guards to penetrate. Polonese goes out of the game. Carlisle comes in. Polonese has five points. That may open things up for the big guy, Joe Klein. Tough without Polonese right now. Well, Edelin, who they tried out at center this year, and found out he was better suited at forward, is 6'8", and he now moves to center. And Charles Valentine is on the line, one and one. One plus one. Virginia with 17 fouls here in the second half. What that does, but Jimmy Miller in the back, of course, before they would have Polonese staying behind Klein to negate any offensive move. Valentine hits the free throws. Full court pressure coming up for the Razorbacks. Up by five points. Wilson trapped. Tip ball, but Edelin gets it over now to Stokes. Matching the biggest lead of the ball game for Arkansas right now. Five points. Once again, imperative for Virginia to come back. Wilson in a crowd. 7.45 to go. And they're going to call an Arkansas foul. It'll be number three on the team. And it'll be the first on Leroy Sutton. Chris Othell Wilson and Alvin Robertson have been teeing off on one another, pushing and banging. Little respect. Team third. starting lineups this year he has juggled the lineup to try to get the offense going and to get the best people to score in there seven and a half minutes to play Klein out to guard Edelin alley -oop to Edelin work to perfection with Rick Carlisle at the other end tough matchup for Klein now on the other end he's got to come way out use that foot speed he's used to playing somebody box to box and Edelin has to rely on his quickness against Klein as Klein bulk against Edelin's quickness at the center spot 43 to 40, Arkansas leading. Wilson overplaying nearly a steal. Gambling all over the floor for the Cavaliers. And it's Valentine blocked. And they're going to call out of bounds. It'll be Arkansas ball. Last touch by Virginia. No basket. What a break because one of the mistakes, you never save the ball, of course, at your opponent's basket and tip it in. You'll see Wilson now out of bounds. And this is a break for Virginia. An assist for Wilson. Second Great. block shot by Edelin, who really has played a terrific game inside. Joe Klein moving a bit out on a turnaround. Klein with 10 points in the ball game, and Arkansas leading by five. 6.45 remaining in the second half. Out to Othell Wilson, top of the key. 
Carlisle passes up the shot. They've got to be wary of that Arkansas defense coming up out. They attack you again because they realize there's some help in the back. Here's a given goal. Stuck through. The basket is going to count for Virginia. Eddie Sutton yelling about that one, but the old give and go play. Edelman gets credit for the basket, and it's a 45 to 42 game. Turnover now. Alvin Robertson from deep in the backcourt. Both Miller and Edelin attack the glass. Eddie Sutton up. The, the Rose looking somewhat frayed. Well, whatever Virginia does, they deserve a lot of credit coming in here after a grueling ACC season and not heralded like they were the last four years when they won more games than anyone in the country. Seated seventh and giving Arkansas all they can handle. Here's the pass inside. Wilson from Carlisle. Virginia is executing on the offensive end against Arkansas. Well, right now it looks, and I don't know the rules of their man-to-man, -man. it looks like Eddie Sutton does not switch. And on those alley-oops, you have to switch if there's a good pick. We're seeing everything. Back doors, give and go, everything from basketball as it was designed 40 years ago. The jumper now. Norton misses, and Sutton comes down with it, and they're going to call the foul against Arkansas. The gamble in the backcourt set that jump shot up for Norton. And of course, years ago, they said only in New York did you backdoor or go without the basketball. But Virginia able to get some free baskets. And again, the result of a gamble in the midcourt area. Norton with the free shot. Not able to convert. Coming in the game, Scott Rose, a 5'10 sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee. He averaged six minutes a game. A walk-on, by the way, but very popular with his teammates. He bubbles over with enthusiasm and personality, and, and he's kind of a spark plug. So they're going to put Rose in in a tough spot, five and a half minutes to play. Well, looking at tapes, he has gotten some minutes in the tournament, Southwest tournament, so they're confident he won't hurt them. Razorbacks by one. Virginia can take the lead again after trailing by five. Oko Wilson and the Virginia Cavaliers have stormed back to take the lead again. Putting on the pressure, six straight points for Virginia. And Wilson with the body control not to charge. Stokes against Rose and Klein. Rose is a terrific practice player. Knocked ball away by Stokes from behind and Klein, this foul going in. A terrific play <laughs> by Joe Klein, who forced himself into the hoop to get the foul. That's the idea, is it? Oh, he, almost, that, he almost carried Jim Miller <laughs> up to the tin. That's the fourth foul, however, on Jim Miller, who has nine points. So now Miller with four fouls, and Polonis, who has been on the bench for Virginia, with four personal fouls. Well, I think they're saving them as long as they can hang tough. Joe Klein, I'll give you a name. Bill Lambeer, the former Notre Dame player. He reminds me more of him. Upper body strength of the Dick Stockton. You know, they look at the, the red hair and they think of Dave Collins, but I think you've got a good point with Lane Beer. <laughs> very physical kind of player and very humble. I thought he handled the questions about Notre Dame. He said that anything that happened there was my fault. A lot of style. Transfer from South Bend. 4.52 remaining in the second half, and Klein misses a chance to put Arkansas back in the lead. So it's 46-46. We have had 11 ties in the ball game, and now Ricky Stokes will try to generate a Virginia lead here. Dick Stockton and Bill Raftery, second round action in the East region. Carlisle inside, stripped away by Robertson again, and he's been doing that all afternoon. A quick hands. Anticipates beautifully. Rose penetrating. Goes up with a shot. Klein puts it in. That's where Edlin is not a match. Here comes the break with Stokes. He has everyone beat down the other end and gets the basket. So Virginia scoring on the fast break off of baskets by Arkansas twice today. And we have another tie. And you don't see that happen often against Arkansas. Heads down, not seeing the basketball. Virginia taking advantage. Cavaliers have stolen a few points that way today. Under four minutes to play. And they're going to call steps on Joe Klein. Turns it over. Look like Joe Klein reverse pivot to face the basket. Timeout, 3.53 remaining. We are tied for the 12th strength of the drive there by Scott Rose, and this is where Edlin is not a match. Good aggressive rebound, and this is the play where the heads are turned. They get beat down the floor for the second time. 
Joe Klein with 13 points in the game. Robertson leads Arkansas with 14. Othell Wilson and Rick Carlisle, the backcourt, 10 points apiece. But inside, where the play gets bruising, Virginia has doubled Arkansas's output. And that says plenty, considering Joe Klein's presence. You wouldn't expect that going in. 48 all, and it's Stokes, guarded by Ricky Norton, Othell Wilson with Robertson on him. Man-to-man -man defense by Arkansas. They've been in it all day. Three guards in there, along with Miller and Edelin. Polonese with four fouls, hasn't come back. Miller playing with four. Virginia sets up that alley-oop with a back screen. Robertson with the foul, sorry. Out of the middle of the floor there. It's tough if you don't switch it or you don't give room for the your teammate to slide. Robertson, again, we mentioned in the first half, he'll get that knick-knack foul, nickel dimer. And he plays so well all the time, it's a shame that he does compound it with that. Well, he has three personal fouls right now. He has had problems getting into foul trouble in the past. That's the 15th foul on Arkansas. Virginia already in the penalty. 3.20 to go. The Cavaliers taking their time. This would be an upset for the seventh-seeded team, Virginia, over the second-seeded Razorbacks, who've been nationally ranked. Wheatland did not lift up the other foot. Arkansas fans had already had it called. A house call. <laughs> Three minutes remaining now in the second half. We were tied at 21 after the first 20 minutes. Edelin is fouled by Norton inside, and that's team foul number six. Now that was a double screen for Ricky Stokes, and Othell Wilson took the ball right away from the play. They're very fortunate to get away with that. Ricky Norton with his third foul. No one on Arkansas has four fouls. Miller and Polonies for Virginia have four. Miller is in the game now. And Virginia's come back from that five-point deficit with Olden Polonies, their starting center on the bench. Under three minutes to go, 250. Terry Holland obviously likes playing smaller. They've been defective. And in many cases, Arkansas has been effective, and they've brought in Rose and some of the smaller players. Here's the alley -oop, but it was a short pass by Carlisle, and Joe Klein had it smelled out. How many times are you going to fool Klein? Right, great read, though. <laughs> they've been running it to death. Joe Klein stayed home. 225 remaining, second half, 48-48. So now the Razorbacks with a chance to break the tie. We've had 12 ties so far. Eddie Sutton calling the play. You see him at the top. And they're going to call the Virginia foul on Ricky Stokes, and they're going to go to the line to shoot one and one, and it'll be Norton to shoot. They ran their shuffle cut, and Stokes just gave himself up. I'm one to let him play. If he wants to fall down, let him go. So three fouls on Stokes. Virginia, terrific strength in the backcourt with Stokes, Wilson, and Carlisle. But Ricky Norton on the line. This is the first time he's been at the free throw line all day, and he is a 75% shooter from there. Olden Polonies is getting set to come back in the ballgame for the Virginia Cavaliers. And here he comes, Polonies with four fouls. Returns to the game. The freshman from the Bronx, New York, replaces Kent Needlin, who has had an outstanding game. He has eight points and six rebounds for the Cavaliers. And he's averaging six, so good night. I thought he played Klein well. Got free on offense also. He misses the second free throw. So now Virginia trailing by one point. Can regain the lead. 205 and running. Dick Stockton and Bill Raftery. Arkansas, second seed. 25 and 6 on the year. The Cavaliers, 18 and 11. Not by any means, not one of the flashier records in this championship. Chance to pull an upset, though. Outside, Carlisle had a screen from Stokes. Finds all open. Polonese inside. He bubbled the ball. I think they just called it out of bounds, Dick. Okay, it's our Arkansas ball, no foul, but Polonese was wide open inside and had to catch the ball. I mean, great screen and play, designed for a layup. Just a, taking his head off, or his eyes off the ball, the fumble. 
Chris Wilson coming up with it. Eventually, fell out of bounds. 137, trapping Klein in the backcourt. He's in trouble. And Edelman grabs the ball. And they're tying it up. It's going to be... Change of possession situation. Virginia basketball. Virginia's ball. It'll be Virginia's ball on the possession. And that was Kendon Edelin fighting for the loose ball in the corner and a terrific trap on Joe Klein. And Klein brought the ball down up the floor. He had some people. The quick timeout now. They had to call the timeout. They couldn't get it in against the Razorbacks. So looking at the shooting percentage, and Virginia has been red hot throughout. In fact, both teams shooting well in the second half. But the Cavaliers really doing a fine job from the field. Arkansas, man to man on the inbounds, too. Virginia will inbound, 131 remaining. Valentine is on Carlisle. Each team with two timeouts remaining. Arkansas by a point. Terrific hands. Wilson gets by Robertson and feeding inside to Jimmy Miller, loses it out of bounds. So once again, Wilson with a good pass to Jimmy Miller. He couldn't hold on, and now Arkansas with a one-point lead as Olden Polonese goes out of the ball game. Kenton Edelin comes back in. Chris, I never disagree with you. I thought it was a tough pass to catch. Down by the knee for Jimmy Miller to handle. I'll defer to you. Thank you. <laughs> Norton, pressure in the backcourt. Trapping. They get it to Robertson. Robertson, one minute to go. Carlisle knocks it away, but Arkansas has it. At what point do you have to foul? Well, I, I, I would think they'll gamble. Of course, they're not going to let Leroy Sutton uh, touch the ball. Against I think it's a foul against Norton. They call the foul against Norton, and that'll turn it over to Virginia. And a big break for Terry Holland's crew. Eddie Sutton just turned his back so he wouldn't say anything to the official. And you determine here whether it's the Atrix. Uh, I think I'd let the offense have the basketball. I'm for one, let them play on. No harm, no foul. He did it before on the shuffle cut, but I don't have a whistle. Well, maybe with you, they'd have to call the security cops out. <laughs> 44 seconds to play in Virginia, again, with a one-point deficit. Trying to set something up. Keep in mind that they have executed terrifically on offense in the half court today. It's Randy Aliyuk for Wilson, and they handle it better, Arkansas. 28 seconds to go. Do you get the shot up in a hurry, or do you uh, play for a last shot, win or lose? I'm one for getting the best shot you can as fast as you can. Gives you a chance to rebound or steal it on a, on a uh, pass. Or foul if you have to. Now, they're going to call that Arkansas foul. They're going to call it Arkansas, and it's going to be a one-and-one -one shooting situation. Robertson. Alvin Robertson commits the foul. It is his fourth foul, and for Virginia, Othell Wilson will have a chance to put the Cavaliers in front. I don't think Eddie Sutton liked this gamble at all. They've been able to contain somewhat any of the offense here, the shoulder, instead of moving the legs. And, of course, Alvin Robertson figuring what's good for one should be good for the other. Eddie Sutton looks like he's just taking his jacket off to relax for a long afternoon. He's got 15 seconds left. Terry think, Holland is cool. I think he took it off in disgust at that play. Wilson at the line for the first time today. Shoot 70% from there. At a time and we will have an interview with the winning coach, perhaps the star player as well. Wilson on the line, one and one. has it. We have a tie with 13 seconds to go. Razorbacks have one more time out to use if they want it. And they're going to call it now with seven seconds. That's their last time out, Billy. And that's why Eddie Sutton saved it. And Leroy Sutton will inbound for the Razorbacks. Tied at 49. Gambling for the steal. Norton, trapped. And Robertson going outside for a deep shot. It's no good. One second to go, and we're going to overtime. So we have played 40 minutes. After the first 20, we are we were tied at 21. And Mr. Raftery, M. 
into the second 20. We're tied at 49. And the right at the guard spot this evening. Joe Klein and Kenan Edelin will jump center. Arkansas has the same five. Ballantyne and Sutton up front. Norton and Robertson in the backcourt and Klein in the middle. Othell Wilson and Ricky Stokes. Rick Carlisle, Kenan Edelin and Olden Polonese. Look, keep in mind, Polonese has four fouls. So does Jim Miller, who is not starting this overtime. Good hedge there by Sutton. Now, each team is given one additional timeout, so Virginia has three to use. Arkansas just one. Fouls, of course, carry over from the second half, so each team's in the one and one. Five-minute overtime period. Tied at 49. Running the one-four set. They got the alley-oop out of this. Taking their time to try to set up a play. Virginia and Arkansas are not slowing down the action, but they're just being patient to set up a good percentage shot all day. Well, they're all very protective of the basketball. They guard it with affection. Robertson and Norton have four fouls for Arkansas. That could be a factor. Polonese, who's in there, has four for Virginia. Four minutes, one minute gone by. Virginia's maintained the ball. Nearly a steal by Valentine. Carlisle again passes up a shot. This is not a delay, Dick. I believe they're making sure they get the shot the bench wants. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Arkansas crowd naturally not happy with Virginia holding on to the ball, but as you mentioned, they're trying to get a good shot. Not easy against the Razorbacks tight man-to-man. -man. Because I felt Wilson was posting up Robertson. 320 now remaining. 49-49. He had a tie at the half. And Stokes has been in there when it's counted at the end. They've really relied on him. Well, they're sound and experienced. Ooh, tough pass there. Carlisle to the point. Robertson almost came up with it. You know they're looking for a backdoor situation. Ooh, this makes me feel they're delayed. Well, they passed up that little jump shot, so they're running their regular set in a delay fashion. Under three minutes to go. If something breaks, go for it. If not, just wait for the last shot. And timeout now. So now Virginia calls a timeout. Contested layup or a wide open jump shot, and the players forget your direction. Well, Terry Holland told us the three things he's got to do to win is combat the aggressive defense of Arkansas. I don't know about that. He's gotten good shots, though. Flying on the interception and a foul on Olden Polonese. Not Polonese, he stays in the game. I believe that's on Wilson. Othell Wilson. Wilson. Right, his second personal foul. Interesting there. They ran the play right after the timeout. Carlisle never got the ball high enough. And this is a gambled play. Wilson, even Robertson, oh, forget Joe Klein, who's jammed it up twice now. Done an outstanding job reading that lob. But you still got Robertson to beat on that lob. Wilson can jump, but so can Robertson. Klein is one for two from the line. Gives Arkansas the lead. That's the first point of this overtime. Terry Holland and the Brain Trust for the Cavaliers. Joe Klein, a senior or junior from Slater, Missouri. And Eddie Sutton said, the best center I've ever had here at Fayetteville. A two-point Arkansas lead, 2.35 to go. So Virginia had the ball and controlled it. The turnover and the foul cost him. And now the Cavaliers have to really look to the hoop here. <laughs> 51 to 49, Arkansas. Second seeded team in the East trying to advance to Atlanta, Georgia. And the semifinals Thursday. Cavaliers from the ACC. Joe Klein communicating in the center, letting people know. man-to-man -man defense slowly coming on to Stokes Polonese and Klein trying to get position inside 150 and running Virginia very patient as though they were ahead by the twos. and Othell Wilson goes in the baseline almost lost the ball he's double teamed and Rick Carlisle got 
the loose ball. Othell Wilson from the corner, and Virginia has tied it up again at 51-51. So a clutch basket by Othell Wilson, who has 13 points. Cool. Othell waited. The trap hurt them then. Oh, you don't want to get in the corner to be trapped. And Well, they were trapped up in the wing, and Othell slid down the corner wide open. 14 times in this ball game. We're in overtime, 1-10 remaining. Each team has two points in the overtime. We want to welcome our viewers in the Pacific Coast. You are looking at NCAA second round action in the East region and on the turnover, Virginia with 46 seconds to go in a tie ball game, appears to be in the driver's seat right now if they can score. I was surprised Leroy Sutton had the ball because his inability to shoot fouls, much less the passing. This is Dick Stockton along with Bill Raftery. Arkansas coming in as the second seeded team in the East. Virginia, seventh seeded and looking for an upset here. 25 seconds to go. Virginia has two timeouts. If they want to use it, 18 seconds to go. It's been a tight, taut ball game with defense dominating and the guard play taking top priority here. Nine seconds to go. Wilson has his shot blocked by Robertson and Carlisle hits from the corner. Timeout Arkansas. And the Cavaliers are celebrating, but there are still four seconds to go. And Robertson has Blocked the shot by Othell Wilson, and Rick Carlisle had hit the clutch jump shot, and Eddie Sutton has a dilemma right here, Bill. Why, well, breaks certainly help you. Othell Wilson shot early. Incredibly, the ball bounces to the corner, and Carlisle, who's a fine open shooter. Here's the early jump shot. Again, the great hands of Alvin Robertson. A tremendous reaction by Carlisle, squaring up as the ball. We'll see Wilson shooting, I feel, too soon. With seven, and watch Carlisle, as he's catching it, he's getting his feet squared, nailing that jump shot. Alert play, Rick Carlisle. Rick Carlisle from Ogdensburg, New York, a senior and the best outside shooter on this Cavalier team, and the oldest player at age 24. He is experienced and mature, transferred from Maine, and a real steadying influence on this team. Now, Arkansas has not scored a basket in this overtime, and their last field goal came with 4.17 to go in the second half. That's over nine minutes without a basket, and they better get something here with four seconds to go to catch Virginia. And the length of the floor to go to, uh, I'm sure Terry Holland saying, look, let's not get beat deep. I'm sure, just judging by what they've done in the past, they'll have a, a deep man. They have a center fielder, Kent Needlin. Arkansas has used up its last timeout, Bill. Four seconds to go. And Virginia, hold on. Here's Robertson. One second. And the game is over. So even without Rob Sampson, the Virginia Cavaliers come back strong in the NCAA championship. The final score, Virginia upsetting second-seeded Arkansas in the East Region, 53-51 to 51 in overtime. So a victory for Terry Holland and a big win for the Cavaliers, who, as we said at the outset, did not have an impressive record this year. Nine of their 11 losses to seeded teams, and they've proven with two victories so far in the NCAA without Ralph Sampson, the Cavaliers can indeed become a factor in this championship. Bill. And the defense there, the deep man, the center fielder, Ken Edlin, and also making them use the floor, Dick. Wasting some time, the long 28-foot jump shot off the glass. Alvin Robertson. Carlisle hit the winning shot with four seconds to play. He scored 12. Wilson, Othell Wilson with 13. Line had 15 points for Arkansas. What a game. Uh, right now, a delighted 
Lake, Virginia, Grope and Terry Holland, an outstanding job hanging in there. Rick Carlisle able to nail that open jump shot, but early in the first half, he was the one that was making the key shots for this club. Overall, I thought they handled the man-to-man -man defense exceedingly well. They were able to get some alley-oops, get the ball inside. One time, Polonese fumbled the basketball on a definite set play, and that hurt Virginia. But Arkansas unable to control the ball late in regulation, and now we're going to go out to my partner, Dick Stockton, with some happy people. All right, thank you very much, Bill Raftery. I'm here with two what appear to be composed people from the University of Virginia, but you know they're elated inside. On my right is Terry Holland, the head coach, and on my left, Rick Carlisle, who hit the winning shot for Virginia in their upset win over Arkansas. Terry, first the question coming in, and I know that you've been getting so many questions about Virginia now as opposed to the past, but it's got to mean a lot to you to prove that Virginia can continue to win, win these two games in the post-Ralph Sampson era. Oh, it definitely does, but you know, our kids play so hard today. I don't know that I've ever been involved in a more intense basketball game. Both teams wanted to win so badly. It's really a shame that either team had to lose, and I'd like to give credit to Eddie Sutton and his Arkansas team for a great, great game. You did a lot of the things you wanted to do. You got the good shots, and uh, you really fought the aggressive defense well. Well, we did. We had some turnovers, but against the team as good as Arkansas, you're going to have some. I thought our guards, Rick Carlisle and Othell Wilson, with the help of Ricky Stokes out there, did a tremendous job. Congratulations, Terry. Rick Carlisle, what were you doing on that last shot? It was blocked. You had to go up with it. The winning game winner for you. Well, that, that deflection isn't a set play or anything, but uh, <laughs> it just happened to be at the right place at the right time, and... You know, got the shot off, unfortunately, they went in. What does the game, the victory, mean to you against this team, considering the fact that you don't have Ralph Sampson anymore, which you've heard a lot about? The victory. Uh, we've, you know, at this point in the season, I think we've gotten used to Ralph being gone. Uh, you know, we've had an up and down year, and a lot of crazy things have happened. And I think, you know, this is this is where things are starting to pay off for us, all the hard work and everything. And uh, we're just going to go to Atlanta and give it our best. Congratulations. Nice game. 12 points, 7 to 6, 6 rebounds for Rick Carlisle. Virginia defeats Arkansas in an upset here at East Rutherford, New Jersey. And right now, we're going to send you back to New York and Brent Musburger. Brent, what a game. It certainly was, Dick. The game of the tournament so far, our first overtime, and Virginia has advanced. And our Chevrolet players of the game, Kenton Edelin for Virginia and Alvin Robertson for Arkansas. Now we're going to.